Louisiana Beer Review's top-notched brewing company's local lager. Established in 2013, Charlottesville, Virginia, beer that tastes like beer. That's a good thing. Virginia made. This was sent to me by Douglas. Thank you, Douglas. It's a adhesive label, paper label on a clear cylindrical aluminum can. Okay, we're, we're, we're within the enjoy by date. It's got the date on the can. The best by date. Doesn't have the born on date, guys. Crisp and crushable, inspired by our love for Virginia. 5% alcohol, 12 bitterness units. Leave your mark. Now, uh, this is a common thing these days. Used to be very uncommon, but craft beer companies making them. Um, should be facing that way. Regular style lagers. Um, and it's funny because uh, years ago when I first started tasting craft beers, 1996, 97. Well, I started 96, but those early years, 96, 97, they would say uh, craft beer was designed to you know give us a an option instead of that fizzy yellow stuff and um, now all the uh, craft most of the craft beer companies are making fizzy yellow stuff that tastes very similar to the mass marketed fizzy yellow stuff so it's part of the FBC fresh beer club okay you can scan and join that but I'm not in Virginia, so it wouldn't do me any good. Never seen their products in Louisiana. So 5%, 12 bitterness units. Uh, yeah, similar to like Coors Banquet type of thing. It has a thick head, sort of like Coors Banquet, but it's lighter in appearance lighter and it has much more sediment it's got gunk galore in here just uh, chunks of tan or yeah white to tan solids They're very hazy I'm um, back in 1976 Schlitz brewing uh, basically wrecked a company when they were using an additive and uh, to expedite the brewing process and it didn't alter the flavor but people started noticing solids in their beer and it was looking like this and they were like what is this stuff in my beer and um, came out that they were using that and um, they had to dump I think it was 500,000 barrels of beer down the drain in Tampa Florida which is now the Yingling Brewery but it was Schlitz Brewery and uh, it, they never recovered from that but uh, this is not the case of additives this is a case of not filtering it like I'm not saying like they should they just it's a more a craft beer it tends to be more of a rough cut not as clean so it might be really good the appearance though you might find questionable all right it's got this the the color of bush beer but definitely not the clarity all right and I don't have any indication but they don't describe the ingredients on the website but I don't see any or have any belief that they're adding corn or rice adjuncts it just smells like a very light white bread and apparently up north they call it white bread light bread I've heard people say yes yeah, we call it light bread cracker biscuit light bread okay taste cheers It's a sunny fall Louisiana day. We need rain desperately. 2023 is going to be, I'm going to call it the year of dryness. But um, it's going to be up in the mid 80s this week 83, 84, 85. It's just cracker, cracker biscuit. Tastes similar to like a. Um, like the original Michelob, which you can't find, but uses uh, water, barley malt, hops, and yeast, or Euro lagers that don't use adjuncts. It tastes like a Euro lager. That head is retaining magnificently. Very spongy. That's a good sign. That's usually a very good sign. 
the flavor is great. Now, you know, bitterness units, one out of five hop cones. The sweetness is two out of five sugar cubes, I would say. Medium body, dry finish. Flavor's great. Uh, I mean, Bell's did this, right, with Lager of the Lakes, which I found had a little bit more of an off flavor. That's typical for Bell's. I don't know why they always oftentimes have an off flavor. I'm not totally thrilled with their products. Definitely not. No off flavor here. Remember that Firestone Walker... I think it was 805 lager. It had a weird off flavor. Somebody gave, sent me a 12 pack of bottles. I gave it a B, I think, good, but um, something about it. You can definitely, okay, so I'm saying it's one out of five bitterness units, but you can definitely taste that one out of five, you know, that 20%. It, it's got a distinctive bitter flavor. There are some subtle nuances of grass, grassy hops. So, does it taste just like your average yellow fizzy stuff? No, 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 no. I said Michelob original, but that's not average. That's better than the average. You know, it's different and it's especially unavailable, but for the most part. Um, It's a solid A. I'm going to go 94 out of 100. 9.4 out of 10. A most excellent beer. I mean, you're not going to... I mean, I bought today I bought a 30-pack of Miller High Life for $19.99. You obviously are not going to get this for $19.99, a 30-pack. Um, it's going to have a better flavor and character than the Miller High Life. You could argue with me about the appearance. Some would say that rough cut appearance is nice others would say oh no and there's sediment look at that cloud there's definite sediment so some people would take issue with that that it's not finished or whatever it's not filtered properly but i mean i like this tan chunkiness and that um cloudiness that's the craft beer part of it all right um the question is is it really worth paying the craft beer prices to get something that's better then say like a Miller High Life or Coors Banquet, but is it that much better? On a regular day-to-day -day drinking uh, regimen, I would say no. I'm, I, I'm just not going to shell out that kind of money when I'll just get a substitute. Somewhat step down, a step down in quality, but a, a big advantage in price. But but I'm not comparing this to other things in, in uh, on its own score. I always score things on their own merit. People get upset about that sometimes, and I'm telling them, I'm bringing those things up as a reference point. I'm scoring the product on its own merit. Always do that. So according to the style, Craft Lager, it's got weird bubbles down in there, too. And one release. Uh, yeah, that's how I'm scoring it. As a Craft Pure Lager, 9.4 out of 10. Most excellent. Thank you, Douglas, in Virginia. This was a great treat. And uh, it's been a good adventure on this shipment, and always is, of course. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all go to Virginia and take a brewery tour. And this company has six locations.